Welcome back. This is module two. We are now going to jumpstart off of what you learned in module one. Now this module is all about the word intention. And intention simply means what I'm putting my mind on, what I'm doing. So your first intention for this training needs to be to start with a decision. That's how you go from thinking about achieving something into action to make it happen. Now I'm gonna explain uh, why this point is so very important because it can make or break you in sports. Now many basketball players, they, they, they dream about winning and being the star or maybe, maybe getting a college scholarship, but rarely do they make a solid decision that they're gonna make it happen. Winning is not something you can leave to chance or luck. Trust me, all great basketball players who got anywhere near the top of their game made a decision to get there. And a decision is nothing more than a thought that you put powerful energy into. You stand behind it. Now here's a couple of, uh, of examples of what this might be like. I am going to make the A team for my travel club. Or I will average 10 points a game or better this season. Stop for a second and decide what your decision is going to be. If you don't make that decision, what you're actually doing is giving yourself an out or an escape hatch if you fail. Now, if you do that, you're actually decreasing your chances to win and succeed. What you want to do is to really start taking advantage of the real power of making a clear decision for anything you want, not just basketball. Here's another one. I've decided my goal is to play basketball on a D1 college team. Boom. I hope you're starting to get the idea that so much of your success depends on how you think and what you believe about yourself in this game. Remember all that from uh, module one? So without making a decision, you're only operating at half speed. You also leave yourself wide open to a destructive force called procrastination. Ew. This is where you keep putting things off or make up reasons why something else is more important to do now instead of your training workouts or maybe studying if we're talking academics. Once you make a decision, your wheels start, well, your wheels start turning. You come up with a plan of attack. The feeling of wanting to do things to get your goal just starts happening automatically. Your body actually gets antsy to take action, to work out, to shoot hoops, to get in shape. You'll naturally want to do things like that. You know, it's, it's about naturally being motivated and pushed from that decision to do what you need to do to get to the next level in your game. Maybe like winning, uh, it'll, you'll just get excited to go run some wind sprints or an extra hour in your own time to go shoot free throws over and over and over. Your decision is like a match lighting a fire. Two years later, he qualified for the state tournament, something he never thought he was good enough for until he made that decision. And yes, he got that college scholarship to play golf. This works. Do it happens when you decide and declare your goal, you end up automatically behaving and performing like a person who makes things happen to get that goal and turning your dreams into reality. You see, we're programmed at birth to follow through with our declarations and so you want to use that to your advantage. You want to say you're going to do something, train your mind that when you say you're going to do something, you do it way your word means something and your actions follow. Very useful in life and sport. Everything in life, not just basketball, right? Check this out. When you do this, life actually gets easier because you now have focus and direction. You don't have to force yourself to practice or study anymore. It happens naturally. You want to. No more confusion. No more procrastination. Ma no more mom and dad nagging you. Instead, you become a powerhouse of action that actually feels really good to do things on purpose like that on a daily basis. And you have it in you to do this. I know it. Now, before you go on to the next lesson, 